everybody it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel and I apologize my hair is wet uh, took a shower this morning washed my hair and I'm letting it air dry it just seemed it seems a little I don't know it's I'm not happy with my hair right now I don't know if I've been using too many heat products on it uh, you know blowing it dry all that good stuff so I'm uh, I did a really good condition and uh, I am just letting it air dry today and I didn't want to put it up because if I put it up while it's wet it dries kind of with the funky you know shapes in it and I want it to just dry so yeah but I think I need to go and get like a really good haircut because my hair hangs almost to my waist now the, the longest part is almost to my waist I have long hair and I don't really need it this long I, that's not anything I was achieving not a goal I was going for I just don't want really short hair I don't think I look good in short hair but I could use to get a I could get a few inches cut off I would be okay with that so I'm thinking I might need to go and do that anyway <laughs> Let's just get started. I'm already done my skincare and I've put my primer on. I am sick to death of trying to use up those foundations. You get tired of it. I mean, I just absolutely get tired of it. I'll go more in depth when I do my Project Pan No Buy, No Buy Project Pan, uh, which is basically, let's just call it a Project Pan. So I've dug out my Fenty Beauty. I need to start using some of these newer foundations I got because I bought them, used them a few times, and they have just been sitting on a shelf. So it's time to let's rotate a while and stop focusing so much on the same foundation all the time. So Fenty today. So let me shake this up. The land is surveyed. Those of you who know um, that we're still on our land. It, the survey was finished one day this week, and uh, I've signed papers so they can come and mark it, which I think they will probably do today, either today or tomorrow. The land will have the marks on it, um, uh, indicating where the line is. The surveyor showed me. I went out there. <laughs> yeah. I was out there. I was out there several times while he was working just to kind of oversee things myself. <laughs> and he showed me where the line is, and I am very happy. The reason the um, shed had to come down because the line actually went through the shed. So they're not taking as much land, it feels like, that I thought they were. Because, the reason I say that is because a lot of the land they're buying was is wooded. Uh, undeveloped I would say we we uh, haven't been doing anything with that portion of the yard I think I told you guys that wasn't going to hurt us because we're not really using that portion of the yard and so uh, yeah so the majority of our actual yard is uh, intact so yay I am happy with that and I can't believe how much of a lack of a tan I have this year compared to all my years in the past because this color is a little dark for me and I got it I think last year and I got it when it came out this vintage and it matched beautifully so yeah it's a little it's a little different it's not it looks okay but um, it's blending all right with my body but yeah, I haven't, I don't have the tan I usually do, and I self-tanned, and it um, wore off streaky. I meant to self-tan today, and I forgot. I did, I actually forgot, so I might do it later this evening. But there we go. I think that looks okay. I like that foundation. Let's see, trash, the trash man's coming, I hear him. Might be a little break in here because I know you guys don't want to hear the trash guy making noise. He's not here yet. I can hear him now. Um, let's see. I had to babysit girls this week. Uh, Kevin is doing great. Um, 
The leg is still red, but it's the doctor said it will just gradually fade, but they don't really know. They still don't know what he had. They know what he didn't have. That's kind of scary. So, yeah, we don't know. We don't know what the problem was, but um, oh, I need one more concealer. But, um, yeah, it, he's better. He's back at work. But I had to keep kids because my sister-in-law is a real estate agent. As you know, she's handling the sale of the land for us. She had continuing education. You know, you have to you have to keep studying. So she had continuing ed. So I watch girls for hers, at least I could do. And um, we had a good time. I tell you, my little niece. Elizabeth, she can tell some tales. She talks about her kids. She talks about how she has kids. And she told me when her kids were teenagers, now she's four, when her kids were teenagers, they had dragonflies. And just always her kids. Always her kids. So I don't, I don't know what all that stems from, but she's been doing that for quite a while, her and her kids. I think it's cute. But yeah. So I got to hear all about her kids and what they're doing. It's so cute. She's a mess. She knows she's the baby and she tries to get away with murder. And she thinks she's going to because she's the baby. <laughs> she is a mess. A mess and a half. Okay. Here's where we are on the palette. Our Kitty Charlie. I didn't realize it until yesterday when I finally looked at Facebook. Guys, if you follow me on Facebook, I don't go on there as often as I used to. My life is just a little too hectic to go on Facebook a lot. So I apologize. But I went on there and Facebook reminded me in the history that yesterday, it was a year ago yesterday, that we got Charlie. That we found Charlie on our carport. That precious little baby kitten who now climbs to the ceiling and still thinks she's a little baby kitten, but she's a small cat. She's a small cat. She's not a big cat. I don't know if she was the runt, but she's something else. She's so sweet sometimes. Except for this morning, I woke up. She was trying to wake me up by trying to scratch the blankets off of me. Because <laughs> she felt it was time I got up. But yesterday, I got up at 4.30 to go keep girls. And uh, so I was tired. I wanted to sleep in this morning, but Charlie didn't feel like I needed to. I guess because Charlie and Tiger were left alone all day yesterday. She felt I needed to get up. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on? I've got a couple weeks till vacation. To go to the beach. I'm hoping we, the only thing left to do on the land is to close, and I'm hoping we can close next week or the week after. I want to close before I go on vacation. One, I want to get it over with. Two, I want the money. Three, I don't want to have something scheduled when I'm going to be on vacation. If it's all we need to, I got a hair. If all we need to do is close, then I think we just need to go ahead and get that scheduled. Get that scheduled and done. Ollie's barking. It's nice to hear Ollie. Um, yeah, Ollie. Started saying Emmy. Emmy passed away. That's been a year ago. Um, Ollie, the neighbor's dog across the street. Um, Ollie's been gone with uh, Monica and Carl, my neighbors. Carl's brother passed away and lived in Raleigh. So they got back late last night. I haven't had a chance to talk to them. So Ollie went with them. They take Ollie. So I haven't heard Ollie barking. That's why it, it kind of, usually I ignore him. But I haven't heard him in about a week. He's not been home. Carl's brother had cancer, had been very sick. It's not like it came out of the blue, but it's still, it's never easy, is it? It's never easy, so I need to maybe take something over there later. 
when they're home. Uh, Carl's gone to work. I'll see Monica out here in a bit. She's still recovering from surgery. So I'm sure that trip to uh, Raleigh did a number on her. For us, it's hard to believe. It, it's hard. I can get to Charleston in four hours. Got to think what I'm doing before I move to the next step. I can get to Charleston in four hours from my house. I'm four hours from the beach. It takes me, and that's in another state. It takes me five hours to get to my state capital. And if I want to go to the beach in my state, in North Carolina, it's an eight-hour drive. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I can be in Savannah in five hours, or I can be in Wilmington in eight hours. That's why we never go to the beach in North Carolina. I did as a child. We had a beach house. Um, but um, we don't. My husband and son and I don't. We'll, we'll go to the coast of South Carolina on down into Georgia. Of course, you know, we love Florida. But yeah, so Raleigh's a five-hour drive. I have a lot of friends in Raleigh. They have a lot of friends that moved to Raleigh. I bet I haven't been to Raleigh since, oh, probably the 90s. I went a couple times with my mother. And uh, she had business in Raleigh, and I'd go with her and just kind of just kind of keep her company. Visit some friends who live there. I have a nephew who lives in Raleigh. My nephew and his wife. There we go. I decided to use the uh, Born to Run palette. I just, I sat there and stared at my palettes and I'm like, which one am I going to use? I need a new palette. And I'm like, I don't need a new palette. I just got these new palettes. But um, I feel like I've done so many looks with this already and with the Norvina. But, um, yeah, we're going to play with this one today. And let me get started. Let me grab my brush. I'm using this Luxie brush I got in a box. Fluffy on one side, paddle on the other. I'm going with the fluffy side. And go ahead. Let's see. What else can we talk about? Um, drama on YouTube. I normally don't uh, watch drama videos and I don't ever know what's going on with these companies. And um, It's never really interests me. If it, had nothing, if it didn't have anything to do with me, I didn't really care. But I guess it started by receiving that Laura Lee palette and not liking it. And I start seeing in my, you know, um, pulls up on YouTube in suggested videos, stuff about Laura Lee. And I'm like, what is this? So, BoxyCharm has dropped Laura Lee. And Alta has now dropped Laura Lee. And Morphe has dropped Laura Lee. And at first I thought it was because that palette sucked. There's all kinds of drama. Things she said in the past. And I don't want to go into all that because I'm not... I do have an opinion. It's not pleasant, but I'm not a fan of Laura Lee. And it's not, I just, there was something about her when I watched her videos I just didn't like. So I just unsubscribed. But, um, yeah, all this stuff going on. The, the actual thing, the moral of the story is just be nice to everybody. Uh, don't rant and rave on social media. Uh, that's only going to get you in trouble. Uh, you might think right now it's nothing, but then you never know what your future holds. That's what I tell my son all the time. Of course, he never... My son's on Twitter, and it's nothing. My son's a good kid, I think. Uh, so he doesn't really say anything, but I, I just want him to know. Don't. You know, if you're a good person, and you treat everybody with kindness, you're only going to get it back, and you got nothing to worry about. Uh, same with lying. I told my son when he was little, I don't, don't lie. You don't have to re have to remember that you told the lie. You don't have to cover it up. If you do something wrong, just own up to it. 
I used to do that at my old job. I was a, a receptionist at a company, and certain people weren't allowed to make phone calls. This was before cell phones were real big. People weren't allowed to make calls, and sometimes I let an outside call go through. And the supervisor would come up to me and get ready just to go in on me and says, you let so-and-so have one. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, it, it just went quick. I'll, I'll be real careful and not have it happen again. And they would just look at me like, oh, okay. I'm not going to deny that I, if I did it and I did wrong, I'm going to apologize for it. And we're only human. So I think that's just the moral of the story. Just be kind. Be kind to everybody. And, yeah, that's it. Now, let's see what I'm going to do. Uh, I hope I'm kind to everybody. I hope I want to treat everybody the way I want to be treated. My parents really instilled that in me. I hope, I think, I hope. I don't like to talk about people. Oh, I don't know which way I want to go. Okay, I'm just going to try to do something new. I'm going to go into Riff. That's that one right there. Let's use that as a transition. Let's just see what I come up with. Because I never really know. Uh, anything else going on? I did watch the uh, Shane Dawson five-part uh, thing on Jeffree Star. I think that's another reason why I was getting um, suggestions for a lot of these videos. Um, I don't know if I talked to you guys about this or not, but I did learn a lot. Uh, I didn't really have an opinion one way or another about Jeffrey. I think he's he's fine with me. Um, I've never tried his makeup. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind trying his makeup. But some of the things I heard about him made me feel real sad for him. But uh, yeah, I have nothing against Jeffrey. I don't know Jeffrey. And so therefore his drama or the drama that surrounds him has nothing to do with me. Yeah. The reason I I don't I won't buy Laura Lee products is because I didn't like that palette. And that's what I'm judging that on, not on her. I didn't do my brows, did I? See? I just jabber jabber jabber. I feel like I need to do my brows before I continue. I am going to, oops, I'm going to use this Chila Chela thing because the main reason is because I think this will dry out and I want to use it before it dries out where uh, my pencils are not going to dry out. You know, they'll be fine. So, we're still not 100% happy with this product, but it's a little dark for me, I think. But all I'm doing today is filming. I have a, quite a few videos to film today. You guys will get a, probably you will get a bonus video uh, tomorrow and it's going to be really short because I don't know what all to say. I mean a really short video on those mints they sent me. And I won't say anything else about it. I'll save it for the video. If y'all have a minute or less tomorrow, <laughs> you can watch it. I don't know how long it'll be because I haven't filmed it yet, but I mean, not a lot I can say. And I'll just leave it at that. Okay, I am stopping there. I just this stuff. I may end up decluttering this stuff. I don't think I'm a... It looks... To me in the viewfinder, I see brows. Brows. <laughs> it's not very natural looking. That's okay. Mm, I'll hang on to it for a while, but it'll probably end up decluttering it. Alright, back to the eyes. I think that looks pretty so far. I'm shedding because of my hair's down and it's drying and my hair used to be not so curly. There was a time in my life it was straight. I was born with curly hair. Look at those curls. 
I was born with curly hair. And then, I don't know, something happened, and I remember my grade school years, it was straight. And then in the 80s, it was permed, but it was still straight when I didn't have it permed. And then after Nathan was born, those curls came back. I don't know. I think it's after I cut my hair. I cut my hair off, like, really bad. It was a... It wasn't a good time for me. It was right after my mother died and Brian went off to Germany on a business trip for, I think he was gone for like a month and a half. And I hadn't really had time to mourn my mother's death. It just all happened at one time and I just got up and said, I want my hair cut. And I went to Great Clips. Rainbow bright. Literally, her hair had every color of the rainbow in it. Right out of cosmetology school. Cut my hair. Oh, it was awful. It was awful. Alright. Now. I'm going to go into... What am I going to go into? Let's do... Let's just go wild. I don't know. I don't like to really go wild sometimes. What color? Okay. Alright, I'm going to go into smog. That's that one. I don't think I've used it. I'm going to use the paddle brush. I'm going to put that on my lid. That's a pretty shade. That is pretty. I don't want a dark crease today, I don't think. I want to stay a little, um, a little lighter, uh, not so, um, dark. And I do, I like that. I think that is pretty, leaving it like that. I'm going to go into, I am going to go into, let's pick a color. I'm going to go into Wanderlust. I don't think I've really used that one. I'm going to go on my detail brush, my small detail brush, and do my outer V, just the lid, not into the crease. Oh yeah, that is really pretty. That's really pretty. I'm going to do that on both sides. I like that. Now I'm going to go dip straight down into my palette, get it on the end of my brush, and I'm going to go underneath my lower lash line. I like that. I like that. I'm going to clean up my brush. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more. And then I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to blaze that one right there. It's a shimmer, like a champagne shimmer color. Got that on my detail brush, and guess where it's going? Right in the center of my eyelid. I don't think I'm going to blend it out. I want it to just pop right there. Need it to pop a little more. There we go. I'm going to take it and go in the inner corner. Ah, oh, pretty. Let's put some of my mascara on. I've opened a new mascara. Ah. Uh, I opened a full size. I haven't used a full size one in a while. So I opened my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And I'm going to use that. I've been contacted by several companies 
to try products and that just excites me so much that um, I've got some things coming that we can try out together. And I am very grateful and appreciative to these companies. It means a lot to me that they um, recognize me and um, want me to try out their products and share with you. And you guys know I will only tell you exactly what I think. I'm not going to, just because they're sending me something. One of them is even paying me. I will tell you, I'm actually getting a sponsored video. But I want you to know, I will tell you the truth. And it's a skincare product that um, I will be receiving today. But I'm going to test it out for 10 days before I do a video. Um, it says you'll see results in several months. So, I will do a video, but we will continue testing it. And if it's not working, I'll let you know. But I'm excited, and I'm hoping it does work. I've read their reviews, and they're glowing. <laughs> and But still, you know, if, they, if it's other YouTubers that they have sponsored and have given the product to, then are they telling the truth? I will definitely tell you the truth. And I hope it does work. I tell you, I really hope it does work. Ah, I like my eyes today. What do you guys think? Less is more sometimes, isn't it? Less is more. I don't go too dramatic. I think that is pretty. Not too dark in the crease. A little darker on the lid, but I put that pop of light in there because you know I do that. And I have just not been wearing liner lately. It's called laziness, if you want to know the truth. I've just been lazy and not putting it on. Okay. All right with that. I'm not wearing any blush today either. I'm going to get my bronzer and put that on. I've got a lot of videos to film uh, that I need to get up. I, we need to check in on our project pan, all of us. I need to... Uh, do a for the first of the month you know new products to you know my everyday makeup drawer get it out get it out Patricia get it out I want to have videos while I'm gone on vacation too so yeah I need videos while I'm gone on vacation I'll try to pre-film Pre-film, pre-film, but the, um, the mint one, I'll just put up tomorrow. There's not going to be that much to it. I'm using this uh, highlighter I got in my Ipsy that I do like. I like this highlighter. It's a very, very pretty highlighter. Then uh, I just need some lips, so let me go pick out some. Okay, I grabbed these, um... Color pops that I am focusing on for the month. Wow, you are just. I think my lip primer is just. Look, it broke. It did break. Is there more in the bottom? Nope, this is the end of it. It is. It's old. My lip primer's old. Sucker is going to have to go into the trash. It's going in my empties. So I don't really have a primer. For my lips today, I do have lip primers I will get out and use, but that one, that one is done. I think I'm going to, I'm going to use Toucan, which is a matte. I'm going to put that on without a liner because, again, I just don't feel like it.
you know, I do really like this color. This is pretty. It is on the older side, though. I'm wondering if it needs to go away. I'll see how it wears today. But um, I'm going to add the ColourPop Glossy Lip in Bound on top of it. Put a little bound on there. There we go. That's some bright lips for these eyes, isn't it? I probably won't keep this lip on. I'm going to be truthful with you. I think it's, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just keep it on. Yeah, I'll keep it on. Why not, right? Okay, not too bad. Lips do stick out, but um, I like this lip stick better with the bound on top. I like giving it uh, bright lips, a creamy look with like a nude color, and I'm into glossy lips lately. Um, I'm just into glossy lips. So there we go. What you think? I like it. Thank y'all for listening to me ramble, because that's what this video is all about. You just hear about my life, and um, yeah, so... We'll see what the future brings. I got some ideas in my head for my other channel. Uh, if you don't know, I have a, a travel channel. I've not been devoting a lot of time to it, hardly any at all. I will admit, um, I've got some videos up there. I've been practicing, you know, kind of do some different style of video, and it's just not my thing. So, starting with my trip to the beach, my travel videos are actually going to be vlogs. I'm just going to take you along with me, film as I go, show me, um, yeah, that kind of thing. So maybe that will be better than what I've been doing, just filming and yeah. Anyway, rambling. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I am sorry it took me so long to answer comments. Let me get this out real quick. I had two days worth of comments. I had read them, but I didn't answer them at the time I read them. So I went back in this morning and answered a whole bunch of comments. So guys, I'm sorry about that. I usually don't go that long. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.